In this video it's a redo of the video I, I did about uh, two or three days ago and for some reason when it was on YouTube there was this uh, weird noise in that halfway through it. So yeah, so just going to redo it. Um, I'm not sure what that was about. It worked perfectly fine on the computer. So here we have clean blog. This is uh, something I got asked about like how good is Bootstrap Studio for blogging. Um, and like I said in the in the first video, it was for like for CMS websites like WordPress and there are others as well. I'm not a fan at all. I, I don't like them. They're too much bloatware, and they are very complicated. When a lot of people think they're for beginners, but I just I mean maybe it's just to, to blog and not really do much editing. It's maybe it's fine, but really uh, these things are. are very very difficult to work with I find anyway that's just me so we started with this thing called clean blog and that was just the thing from bootstrap and bootstrap studio it's actually probably on bootstrap as well I'm not sure about that but it probably is um, and the things basically what I was saying in the in this uh, other video was about backing up this uh, this theme and that it can be used with Bootstrap Studio and it can be used with less bloatware than uh, say a CMS. And all you would have to do is just, when you keep changing and editing everything that you're doing with blogs and that, you just back up. You, you know, you, you, you back up always, save them and uh, in the cloud as well. You can publish them on here now. If uh, I think you're allowed five websites on uh, Bootstrap Studio. So just keep doing that. And when you go to the your files where your new stuff is just maybe just change the name just very very slightly so you know that's exactly how you want it to look online um, and so when you 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 know for example I've, I've as I said in the this uh, first video just uh, I'm using FTP which is uh, FileZilla and I think that's what a lot of people use anyway all you would have to do is just transfer say for example this is your this is what you've changed something in here and you're just going to pop it over to your public HTML on your on um, on the server and so you just do that and that's all you do and if you get this uh, message here you can overwrite it and it's got overwrite of sources new which is like what I often choose and you can actually put it at the bottom here I'll just zoom in for you. Always use this action, apply to current queue only or apply to uploads. And I usually use this, always use this action. But for this demo, it's up to you what you do with that. So that's all you do. Have a look at it. Just change your name slightly. Have a look at it. See if that's how you how you want it to look. Um, because sometimes you, you think that something's fine and you think, well, there's nothing can be wrong. It goes up online and it's an absolute mess. <laughs> and I think um, all web developers and designers have probably seen this type of thing before over the years. So once again, thanks for watching these videos.